What's going on guys? Anthony with Triple C Detail. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys some neat little products or we're going to be trying them out I should say. Uh, it's to clean floor mats, rubber, vinyl, anything like that. And if you have ever had to clean like WeatherTech floor mats, you know how hard it is to get them to return back to black um, once they're dirty. They kind of, even once you get them clean, they kind of stay a little bit eh, like they don't really look that great, right? So I got a couple products today that hopefully will clean them effectively and also make them look nice without having to put a dressing on. There's a lot of dirt, uh, looks like some dark red clay. It's all on there and I mean even when you clean these things really good they still just they don't look like the original like a deep black look okay so product number one McKee's 37 we got floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator we also got Meguiar's it's uh, their mirror glaze number 39 heavy-duty vinyl cleaner and uh, I mostly just wanted to try this stuff out for this purpose um, one thing that this is good at is if you get any polish residue on like your plastic trim here or even around the windows, this will actually remove it and clean it very well. All right, we got our Meguiar's M39 here. We're going to shake this up before we apply, which I already shook it before. I'm gonna turn on the sprayer. And this thing sprays a little weird because it's got this little jet on here. But we're gonna spray it in this area real good and I got this brush to work it in so I'm gonna try and show you here we're gonna scrub it real good you can see the suds are a, a light brownie that's from all that dirt Pretty good working time on this product. It's just sudsing up like crazy. So, once now that that's done, grab a microfiber here. We're just gonna try and wipe this off. As you can see, it's kind of making a good mess here. That alone right there did a pretty good job of cleaning, as you can see. All right. So, let's set these out of the way. Here you can see a nice before and after. And it's dry. It's a little wet, like right here within the corners. But that's a big difference right there. And uh, there's a few areas that are a little strange. Like here's a little bit of white. I don't even know if the camera will pick that up. There's still some dirt in this corner. Obviously, if I didn't have the tape here, I could have really... I didn't want to scrub too hard and pull up the tape. So now we're going to move on to the McKee side. We're going to try this one out. A little bit of charging left over from the uh, previous clean. Okay. From the McKee's. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit, turn on the spray. It wants us to thoroughly spray this area. I'm gonna tilt this like this. You guys can see what I'm doing here. So we're gonna wait. Wait around 30 seconds before we start scrubbing this in. And we're gonna start scrubbing in. One thing I'll notice is probably doesn't really suds up like the Meguiar's does. It's got a pleasant smell though. It smells like clean. I don't know if that makes any sense. Now it's starting to suds up a bit. It's 
So I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and move over here. We're gonna spray this off. There goes the shape. Just rip this tape off anyway. Ooh, you can really see where the cleaners were. So, as you can see, here is the McKee's side right here. There's the before, there's the after. Before, after on the McGuire's side. It's really close, but in terms of color, I want to say that the McKee's is a little bit darker. But I want to say that the Meguiar's looks like it cleaned a little bit better than this one did. I can see a lot more browning in here still. And I don't know if that's just because this is a heavier spot. Like it looks like the mat is actually worn a little bit more here. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I actually decided to use the Meguiar's cleaner for the whole floor mat. Originally what I was going to do was use a different interior cleaner to clean the mat and then compare 50-50 of each product. Um, I wasn't happy with how that turned out. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to clean this whole mat with the Meguiar's cleaner. Because like I said, this, this cleaner right here from Meguiar's gets the mats about 90% of the way there. And uh, after I cleaned this mat with the Meguiar's, I went ahead and cleaned up all the residue. And then I applied the McKees to the whole mat. Because I feel like that really gives it that extra 10%, which is often the hardest to get in any, you know, thing detailing. It's the last 10% is the most work. Um, not that either of these products really isn't hard to apply, but it's just taking the time to actually apply all these different things. Um, but I'm really happy with both of these products, so I just want to let you guys know that. And let's go ahead and check out how the mat came out. Okay, so as you can see, the mat's mostly dry, except for this one little area right here that was in the shade on accident, but... <clears throat> let's bring you in close so you can kind of get an idea. The mat looks pretty good, I would say. Overall, though, the uh, Meguiar stuff did a really good job cleaning it, and I feel like the McKee stuff just... It adds just a little bit of extra darkness to it. So, you can't go wrong with either one. Um... I want to say this Meguiar stuff was only around $10, $10 maybe for 16 fluid ounces on Amazon. So that's a, that's a killer deal right there. This stuff was around $16 to $20 for 16 ounces. I can't remember exactly. Um, so they're both pretty good products. All right, so right here I just wanted to show you a little update. Um, I'd already stepped on the mat because I was leaving for lunch, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like inside the vehicle. And everywhere where I didn't step, the mat looked really nice and black. Pretty uniform finish other than those little corners that I missed. Uh, I should have used like a toothbrush or something to get those, but I just wanted to show that really quick. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please leave us a like, and if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. And in the comments, let me know what what's your guys' favorite floor mat cleaner. Uh, I, I was really impressed with the McKee stuff, how it worked, and even the McGuire stuff was really good too. So I'd like to know what you guys use. And next week, we are going to be reviewing some Shine Master wheel brushes, um, tire brush, and their Wheel Wooly kit. So stay tuned for that. Next Wednesday we'll be releasing that video.